and the economy, always a factor in elections, of course. And with the crucial midterms ahead, where the balance of power in Congress is at stake, this year is no different. Plus, there are other factors, like the president being in his second term with low approval ratings and the electoral playing field. And all that seems to signal gains for the GOP in 2014. Joining me now, Kirsten Powers, Daily Beast columnist and Fox News contributor. Great to see you, Kirsten. Good to see you. Thanks for having me. So there's this interesting article out today by Larry Sabato, mm -hmm. who usually has his crystal ball out before elections, and he yeah. tends to be correct. Yeah. <laughs> so what do you make of this? 98% of the time. 98% of the time. What <laughs> yeah. do you make of his predictions that it's going to be all GOP in 2014? Well, I think it, it, it sort of jibes with what most people have been saying, which is it looks like it's probably going to be a good year uh, for Republicans. I think this has more weight because it's Larry Sabato, and this is somebody who does have a good track record and um, really has broken it down into you know th the three different things that he's looking at, which is how's the president doing, which we know the president's not really doing that well. His, his numbers are sort of mired in the 40s. Uh, and uh, typically, even historically speaking, there are a couple outliers to this, but historically speaking, you don't. You, a president usually doesn't do that well in the midterms to start. Add right. in the bad approval ratings, he's not going to be helping the party a lot. And his other two things that he points to besides the pr president's approval ratings, right. the economy, and also, mm -hmm. you know, we know we're kind of stagnant in that area, and also the electoral playing field, so he breaks this all down. But my question yeah. to you is, is the president going back to the political game, so to speak, or strategies that he used before the 2012 election to try and help out Democrats now in the midterms? Going back to these buzzwords of fair share and millionaires and billionaires and, and people should be on equal footing. Well, I think he actually believes that, <laughs> um, and it is a political strategy as well. It, 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 but it is it is also fundamentally what Democrats believe, um, and and it worked very well for him in the last election. I just don't know if it's going to be enough in this election. And look, the House isn't as really you know in play. It's probably going to stay in Republican hands. What's in play is the Senate, and the Senate is very Id idiosyncratic. It's not you know the races are really sort of specific to who's running and what the dynamics in the state are. And right. I don't know if the president's going to be able to change that you're, you're, you're absolutely right. That is the plan of the Democratic Party yeah. to make well, next year all about income inequality uh, and poverty. Yeah, well, it worked It worked in 2012. Yeah. The interesting thing will be the Senate, as you point out, because remember what Harry Reid did about a month ago, which was a nuclear option. And if Republicans suddenly get to control of the yeah. Senate, it could be revenge with a capital R. Uh, Kirsten Powers, yeah. great to see you. Thanks so much. All right. Thank you.